Welcome, welcome to Resource Prepping. I'm your host, Greg. What you're looking at is more prepping supplies, continuation of just do, no excuses. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm bringing them up from the basement. It is exhausting work, heavy work, but necessary as I will be moving to a different location. And uh, I wanted to share with you something that you rarely see is prepper supplies, at least properly prepared prepper to survive the SHTF. Hey, what are you guys doing? Nosy butts. All right, so finished up bringing all the medical supplies up in totes. Now I'm bringing in the ones that are in trays. Easy pull-out slide for easy access, medical emergencies, medications, and everything else. For the triage unit I had set up, you see back there more totes with uh, labeling not facing you, but it has like sutures, supplies, instruments, all that kind of stuff. And you can get instruments on eBay. Yes, you can. That could possibly save your life for $35 to $50, $60, depending on how much you want to spend. Just sterilize them before you use them, which is what I have done. But again, you can get these at garage sales, yard sales, flea markets, uh, estate sales. A lot of people that are retiring or ill or have passed away leave behind a lot of unopened gauzes and other things, porta potties, shower chairs. You can pick those up for just minimal couple bucks. And you don't think that far ahead, but you know, somebody that is infirmed will certainly appreciate you taking care of them. All right, so again, blankets, medical supplies, a lot of them I plan on doing all right by having the supplies I need to take care of me and mine. One thing is lots of food. You're not going to have enough food. I don't care how well prepared you are. Currently, just in a static state, you are burning anywhere from 2,000 to 2,500 calories per day in consumption. Double and triple that in an SHTF when you are walking or under heavy stress trying to figure out how you're going to get your next meal and survive what is coming. Not if it's coming, when it is coming. Fortunately, God put me in a place where I could clean out hoarder houses and I have at least at least 25 more buckets to bring up from the basement with a variety of food inside them that were properly sealed with uh, mylar bags and oxygen absorbers in them. Check out my video showing the two of them opening up the oats and cornmeal plus flour and sugar from 1998. And in these buckets, you see brown sugar, cornmeal, Carrot cake mix, some egg noodles. There's yellow cake mix back there. In front is supplemental food that I have uh, purchased over the years. In case we do not have access to clean water, oats and egg noodles are going to do you no good for human consumption. So you have to have supplemental food that is easily accessible that you can eat right out of the can to keep you going, all right? So you have MREs, which has, the price has gone ballistic, but you can eat them on the move to your next location right out of the pouch. Fruit cups, you can put them in your kids' bags that are walking beside you. So when they start whining, they're hungry, you can pop open a fruit cup and say, here, eat and be quiet. Snacks, nuts, raisins, candies are good energy to keep you moving. Beef sticks, good protein source, lightweight. You can put a bunch of these in your backpacks, your pockets, whatever, in your car to keep you moving. That's the idea, to keep the engine running during an SHTF. I got these at Sam's Club. Uh, I don't remember the price, but again, it's easy to uh, eat, easy to uh, carry, and plenty of it. Now, I ordered this, and these things have gone really 
expensive. When I first started buying them, they were like two ninety nine a can. They're now up to five six dollars. Keystone meats, I like it. I pop the can open, put it in a skillet, warm it up with eggs, whatever else I'm having, and I have beef and and uh, potatoes, beef and eggs, whatever it is. I make burritos out of them. Perfectly fine, tastes good. They are pricey now. But again, carb density in, and calories is what you're going to want and need. Use that. I cook up this right here and put it in salads to mix it around with eggs. As seen here, tastes perfectly fine. Dehydrated food, lightweight, easy to carry. Add some hot water and you have a meal. You, so you have to have variety. You can't just rely on MREs or you know one thing or another you have to have a variety and fortunately God put me in a place where he said you're gonna feed my people comfort my people protect my people and he put me in a place cleaning out hoarder houses prior to COVID I came upon this to feed his people that he will send my way or me their way in an SHTF and I've already shared it with half my group with medical supplies and food so uh, I want you to think about why you are not prepping and what you should be doing to be prepared for the oncoming SHTF not if it's coming when it's coming and how soon take this time a relative peacefulness here in the United States before it gets too warm, before politics really kick in, and before you see, just like before in 2016, the useful idiots burning down the cities in protest of candidates and their policies. Pups, we're going to eat, aren't we? That's the idea. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Get yourself right with God. Ask for forgiveness of your sins, repentance, get baptized, submerged in water. Welcome to the new subscribers. You're welcome to share, like, comment on any of these videos. Greg out.